Deep learning models take a lot of time to train. Some models can take minutes, some can take hours, and some can even go up to days. Whether you are experimenting with a new model or pursuing for a higher Kaggle competition score, it can be hard to leave your models running in peace. Data science should be a part of your life and not your entire life. While your model is training, it's completely okay for you to go out and take a break from your computer, whether it be grocery shopping, exercising, or whatever you like doing. Recently, I discovered an amazing Python library called as Tensorgram. What exactly does it do? Well, for understanding the real power of Tensorgram, watch the entire video. So, without wasting any further time, let's kickstart the video. But hey, a sub to the channel would be really motivating. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is Tensorgram and how will it help you in your day to day deep learning workflows? Well, Tensorgram is a real time remote service that helps you get all your Keras callbacks results to your Telegram app. Before I move forward and show you the power of Tensorgram, I want to take this opportunity and thank every single contributor of this amazing library. In the coming future, I see great adoption of Tensorgram for deep learning tasks. Before I jump and show you the power of Tensorgram, the first thing that you will require is Telegram app. Without the app, you cannot get notifications. So the first step is install the Telegram app. Now, once the installation of the app is done, the next thing that you'll have to do is you'll have to go inside the Telegram app and search for at the rate Tensorgram underscore bot. Once you find this bot, click on join channel. What this application will do is essentially it will share across all the notifications per epoch or the way you configure it on your telegram app. For Tensorgram to show you notifications with respect to your deep learning model, you require a unique chat ID. To get your unique chat ID, what you have to do is you have to search again on telegram and you have to search for at the rate chat id underscore echo underscore bot. Once you enter the chat bot, you just have to type in start and you will get your unique chat id something like this. So this is all that is required. You first have to enable the tensorgram bot and the next thing is you require a unique chat id. Once all of this is set up, the only thing that is remaining is we have to jump to our python session create a deep learning model and see the magic of Tensorgram. So let's start with that piece as well. Before you start using the amazing library that is Tensorgram, you will have to first install it. So the way you would install Tensorgram is pip install Tensorgram. Now that the installation is done, I'll go forward and I'll import the necessary modules like TensorFlow, NumPy and Pandas. So let me go forward and run this cell. The next piece of model creation is something similar to what I've done previously. I'll attach the link to the video as well. So you can have a look if you're still confused in terms of how you can create a simple deep learning model using TensorFlow 2.0. So I'll add the link in the description section of the video. Feel free to check that out. Just to summarize what I'll be doing next is I've created two arrays. The first array contains training data, which is 0, 0, 0, 0001, 1, 0 and 1, 1. I'm trying to learn the patterns of an XOR gate. So for a two input XOR operation 0, 0, the output is 0. That is what is reflecting in my target data. For the input combinations of 0, 1 and 1, 0, the output is correspondingly 1. And for the input combination of 1, 1, my output is 0. So I've created two variables, training underscore data and target underscore data.
The next thing that I do is I create a model using the Keras API. I define the layer that is my hidden layer as well as my output layer. I specify the dimensions in the input layer and yeah, that's about it. The next thing that I do is I specify the loss, I specify the optimizer and I specify the matrix and I compile the model. Now when I run the command model.summary, this is the summary that I get for this corresponding model. Now that the model skeleton is ready, the only step that is remaining is training the model. Before we start training, we will first import tensorgram from tensorgram. So let me go forward and run the cell. So in this piece of code, what I have done is essentially I have created a JSON file called as telegram hyphen chat underscore token and I've saved my unique chat ID. So if you remember just two, three minutes back, I kind of showed you what unique chat ID is. So this is something that I've saved into a JSON file. You can basically use the chat ID as is. I didn't want to expose my unique chat ID for that. I've kind of used the JSON file. So you can skip this step as well. You can directly use the unique chat ID. Now that we have the unique chat ID in token underscore data variable, the next thing that I'll do is I'll create an instance of the class tensorgram. I'll pass in a name. In our case, it's an XOR gate. So that is what I've passed in. And I'll pass in the unique chat ID, which is hidden inside the key token underscore value. So let me go forward and run the cell. Now is where you will see magic happening. I'll call the function model.fit. I'll pass in my training and target data. And it is here that I'll introduce a callback called as tf underscore telegram that I just created in the previous step. I specify the total number of epochs and that's about it. Let me go forward and run this. So as you can clearly see, the training has started and I'm getting all the notifications on my telegram app. Isn't this amazing? So this is something that I wanted to demonstrate today. I am pretty sure all of you are occupied with different things and you want to try out things beyond deep learning, beyond data science. It is here that these amazing tools can surely help boost your productivity and help you explore more of what life is. So this is all that I had in today's video. Yet again, a big, big, big shout out to all the contributors of Tensorgram. Show your love by starring and forking the repository. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching my video.